What's up guys, I hope everyone is doing well and I hope that everyone is having a great day and today I thought it would be cool to just talk about the Ahsoka movie that Rosario Dawson has kind of been campaigning for. She is wanting to play the character of Ahsoka Tano in a live action version. I had heard about this before but I just thought that it was a what if kind of thing and I didn't think that Rosario even knew about it so I decided that I wanted to learn a little more about it and I thought that if I was going to learn more about it I might as well share what I've learned with you. If you haven't seen Rosario Dawson or you don't know much about her work, I would highly encourage everyone to go check out her work in Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist. She does a phenomenal job in those shows and she's a really good actor in these types of shows, so moving from that to Ahsoka isn't really too far of a jump or a transition. The whole idea of having a live action movie for Ahsoka really started off to take off when an incredible artist did a mock-up of what Rosario Dawson will look like as the character. The artist is Boss Logic, and I've been following his work for a couple of years because I'm a big fan of Arrow and The Flash and that whole CW universe, and he's done a lot of good mock-ups and concept for those too, so he's a really talented guy. Um, Ahsoka looks great in that being portrayed by Rosario that he did. If Ahsoka were to get her own anthology film, this would be good for a variety of reasons. This would probably be most exciting for the Star Wars fans who grew up with the prequel trilogy because this was when they, people like me, my age, were all kids and we got the prequels and the Clone Wars cartoon and people from that generation of Star Wars fans are already familiar with the character of Ahsoka. This probably wouldn't be as exciting or as highly anticipated for fans from the original trilogy, but this would be a way to introduce this character to that generation and give those generation of viewers a new perspective on the character as well. Doing an Ahsoka film has two potential places in the continuity for Star Wars where a live action movie could happen. It could happen during the Clone Wars era, and it could happen during the time that Rebels takes place. If it were to happen during the Clone Wars era of Star Wars, I think it would be really, really cool if Hayden Christensen were to reprise his role as Anakin. Hayden still looks great, it's been 12 years since Revenge of the Sith, and he has barely aged a day. 2005, now. 2005, now. Hayden has also seemed to be more beloved by fans now than he ever has before, and I'm sure most people previously thought. I loved Hayden as Anakin, I thought he did an incredible job, and when he made his appearance at Star Wars Celebration, fans went absolutely crazy for him. In both interviews that we got to see him in, his autograph session sold out so quickly that they had to add more throughout the weekend just to allow every fan an opportunity to meet him, and Hayden seems to be really able to reflect on the character a little more lightly than I would have guessed he would have been able to, especially knowing that all of the hate and all of the shots that were taken at him. Everyone is so excited that you are here. It's really good to see you guys too. What are your thoughts on sand? You're welcome, Reddit. You're welcome. Well, you know, it's uh, it's not very smooth. It it does it doesn't really stay in one place. So I'm not I'm not such a big fan of it myself. Uh, you know, although if it leads if it leads to the water, I can tolerate it, but. Anakin came from a, a desert planet, so I sort—I understood his contempt for it. Uh, oh yeah, I mean, yeah. I came from Chicago. I hate snow, so yeah, I, I so. get it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming by. It was an absolute pleasure to meet you, and right, everyone cool. here just like immensely appreciates your presence. Thank you so much. If Lucasfilm were to do another film from the prequel era, it would really help add to a content of the entire prequel trilogy, help give it some more context, and really do that era of Star Wars a little more justice, because unfortunately there still are those out there who hate the prequels and think that they were a waste of time. If they were to do it during the Rebels era, I would still love to see Hayden incorporated somehow into the film, maybe in a flashback or some way, because if anyone deserves a shot at redemption from the prequels, it's Hayden. In the comments, I see a lot of you guys say that you don't blame Hayden, but rather the script and the directing that was given to him. So if he had another shot with a different director and a stronger script with better dialogue, I bet he could change a lot of people's point of view of his portrayal as Anakin. Because after all... A certain point of view? Luke, you're going to find that many of the truths we cling to 
depend greatly on our own point of view. But right now, there's like a major campaign that's going on, and I'm calling it major because I think it is, but there's a whole campaign that's going on online to try to get me in Star Wars to play Ahsoka. So Whoa. Star, no, which would be amazing. So you know what? Star Wars follows you on Twitter. I they learned. don't follow anybody who's not I in their know. movie. I know. I'm it's like, I think there's a good sign. Internet, help me out. Well, I don't know. Rosario seems very interested in doing this, as you could tell from that interview clip. She even went so far as to ask all of us on the internet to help her out. So I heard you, Rosario. Let's make it happen. Rosario was followed by Star Wars on Twitter, and out of the 3 million followers that that account has, they only follow 450 people, and she's one of them. And that's impressive because she hasn't done any type of work that's Star Wars related. Not only is she followed by Star Wars, but she's also followed by Dave Filoni, who is the executive producer for Rebels, and he was the supervising director of The Clone Wars. He has 65,000 followers, and he is only following 45, and she is one of them. So there's that to think about, too. Another reason that this would be a great play for Disney and Lucasfilm is because it would allow them to explore a main character that isn't of human entity. It would allow them to expand their world of characters and species more thoroughly. Not only would it allow that, but Disney is doing a fantastic job at creating strong female roles, and Rosario Dawson plays a strong female in Marvel's Netflix show as Claire Temple, so she is certainly capable of continuing this phenomenal work and the trend that Disney is currently working with. Having a live-action Ahsoka film would also help to co connect and better intertwine the canon universe on screen, and it would help bring the film and the TV shows closer together, and if they had a live-action movie, that would probably get more people to seek out and watch the Clone Wars and Rebels, so that would be a win-win. I think that if Disney is having an actor campaign to play a character in their universe, and that fans are on board with it and they seem excited about it, then it should be a no-brainer that they should do it. I'm sure some of you will disagree with me, but I think fans are wanting to see a live-action portrayal of the character, and I can't think of a better actor than Rosario Dawson for the role. I think she would absolutely nail it, she would be fantastic, she would knock it out of the park. But that wraps things up for me here in this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just wanted to give you my thoughts about why I think that would be a good idea, so let me know what your thoughts are about that in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.